Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 3 of my Minecraft 1.17 Hardcore Survival Let's Play. I just want to add this little thing here because I think it looks good. And uh, yeah, I've got a good plan for today's episode. We're going to go try and attempt to conquer something that I've been waiting to conquer for quite a while. And that is the little uh, desert temple pillager outpost combo. So I got to remember how to make a shield because I honestly don't remember how to make a shield. So hold on. Let's see if we can type in shield. There we go. There we go. We got the shield. I don't normally use shields because I feel like they block too much of my vision. But honestly, with what we're going to be attempting to do here, <laughs> I'm kind of worried. And I feel like we're going to need a shield. We should probably also grab some torches. Oh, yeah. And I organized my chest from last episode. So we got wood stuff. You know, everything's nice and organized, which is good because usually, well, sometimes I can get bad about organizing. But if I start out organized, the hope is, is that I won't ever stop being organized right i'm really proud of our starter base i know it's kind of big for like a starter base but to be fair i did build it on the first you know few three days or so i think something like that all right so i may regret this yeah it's over there there's a pillager outpost and a desert temple and i think they're literally almost touching so it's a super rare like not very common thing to happen so I'm kind of hyped to go explore it. I'm also very nervous. I might try to hit the desert temple or not the desert. Yeah, I might try to hit the desert temple first and then hopefully we can get like a diamond sword and then we can do the pillager outpost. But with this armor, nothing bad can happen, right? So <laughs> this is going to be so bad, dude. Oh, this is going to be so bad, dude. I am not, I'm not prepared for this at all. There's already so many pillagers. Okay, we're gonna approach from the back. And we have an acacia biome over there? Dude, this world is freaking awesome. We got so much, there's like a little mound of sand over there too. This world has a lot to offer. And yeah, they're already, they're already looking, no, they're not looking at me yet. But there's too many of them for me to go try to do that just quite yet. So let's go around to the back. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think the desert temple is so close that they're gonna aggro on me from, from the pillager outpost, so. <laughs> We're gonna take the little uh, ravine, little back way entrance here, and I think this should lead us right to the temple. I'm hoping at least, but I don't know how rare of a spawn this is, but it seems like it's pretty dang rare, because I've never seen that personally. Uh, but you know, maybe it's not. Oh wow, it's like in the water. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna sneak up. Actually, sneaking in this game doesn't do anything. Are they already coming at me? No, no, no. Oh, they're in here. No. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, can they come in here? Okay. 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 I'm going to just trap myself in a very uh, peculiar... Pecu peculiar? Peculiar... Peculiar situation. That's how you say it. Peculiar situation. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, yeah, shoot each other. Get mad at each other. Please, not me. Yeah, dude, shoot each other. There are so many down here. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here realistically? I don't know because I can't I can't handle that many. I really shouldn't have just jumped in here. I figured their pathfinding would not, you know, figure that out, but I guess they did. You know, I'm, I'm going to be a cheap man here. I'm going to be a cheapy player, and I'm going to I'm gonna do something like this, and then I'm also going to test it with a trap door. So we can put this here, and then a trap door. So now we can open this, and then kind of... Oh, wow! Wow! I just got hit by, like, seven. Okay, that's not good. No, they can't get in here like this. And, of course, they can't shoot me, but I can get out if I want to. Okay, this is not fun. I'm gonna do it like I'm gonna do it like a man. Come on. No, no, no. No, okay, don't die, don't die. <laughs> Why did I do this? I just hear him continually falling into here. Maybe we should go down below and see if we could just get the loot real quick. Is this is this a bad idea? Maybe. I can't see what's below me, and that's what makes me nervous. Where is where is the hole? I know there's like a hole. Like right here. Please don't fall into TNT. Okay, dude, this isn't funny. Where, Where is that hole? Okay, it's right here. Okay, so we can probably make our way down here, and then hopefully there's, like, some diamonds, and we can get a diamond sword. You know, usually I don't like to rush the game, um, but in this case, I really need the diamond sword. Okay, good. They won't, they won't fall down in here. Alright, so what is our luck gonna be, guys? Can we get a prediction? 
Unbreaking three is not bad. I'll take all this stuff. I'll take the gold horse. I won't take the sand. I'll take the gunpowder. Oh, man, that's not good. That's... <laughs> That's pretty rare. That's uh, pretty rare, I would say. I would say that's uh, decently rare. I'm kind of happy about that, not going to lie. And okay. So we didn't get the best luck in the world, but, you know, decent stuff. And decent stuff indeed. So this doesn't really help us a whole lot. We don't have any arrows or anything, so we can't, like, you know, make a bow. Which would have... Oh, wait, wait. We have crossbows, but we don't have any arrows. So again, doesn't matter. We just got to do this, guys. Mm, I don't like this at all. I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> I'm so stuck. I can kind of hit him like a few times. Ow, I'm still getting hit through my shield. Oh, because I wasn't holding it up, I guess. What? Okay, someone want to explain to me how I was holding the shield up. I still got hit. Not today, thank you. Okay, they're done. They're done. I'm unleashing it. I'm unleashing it. Okay, are they done? <laughs> Probably not, but I, I think for right now, at least, they are so, sort of done. Okay. So I don't see... I thought they were supposed to have a villager, like an iron golem in there. But I don't see anything. So this, this isn't like all of them, right? No, surely not. Okay, well, let's go in here. This is a risky, risky move. Especially because I don't really have very good armor. All for that? That was terrible. Okay. Well, they can't get up here now, but really I did all of that for some dark oak wood, a couple of pieces of wheat, a bottle of enchanting, and some carrots. The carrots are the most like, useful thing there. Okay, well, we're, we're just going to run out of here. Let me just make sure I have a, you know, a way to escape here. Is there any water around here? Yeah. Okay. See you guys later. Sayonara. Okay, water escape. Water escape. Go quicker. Go quicker. Oh, okay, okay, we're getting out of here. That was not worth it. <laughs> there was nothing there. Oh, man. I wish I had a desert temple or something. What is that? Oh, is it another portal? Dude, this world is seriously so, like, fruitful. There's been so many, like, nice things around here. If we could get, like, a mending gold pickaxe, I would be a happy man, because those are kind of cool to use. Uh, maybe we'll find another desert temple. Who knows? Well, I thought that was another pillager outpost. I was like, dude, there is no, absolute no way. And snow on a desert biome. That is interesting. So you guys remember the first uh, abandoned portal or whatever ruined portal I found? We lost our gold block. Well, that's not going to happen today. Let me tell you guys. We got an iron pickaxe. So we can't. We literally cannot lose this gold block unless we really try. Okay. We're going to go slow. No more shield, too. I just, I, I don't like shields. I'll just tell you right now. I just don't like them. Okay. So there's a one gold block. Oh my goodness, that's not terrible, but it's not great. Fire charge. So this portal is like 90% of the way there, so maybe we could convert this to be our actual nether portal. Who knows? So let's explore this jungle a little bit. I want to do some exploration. I want to see if I can find a jungle temple, because I know those guys have some pretty dang good loot. I'm just looking for some diamonds mainly. So I'll run around in here for a little bit. If I find something, you'll be the first to know. Oh, I almost fell to my death, <laughs> but I've got to head back. It's getting dark. I don't know how far away I actually am from my house, so this may be a uh, dark night here, which means if things spawn, I am in a tricky position. I have not had mobs spawn at night yet, at least intentionally. The one time I was in a cave, they did spawn. We could get enough. Yeah, we're going to do that. Let's say I see three pieces of wool right here. We just got to take advantage of the moment. We had enough string in our inventory looking back on it. Looking back on it as if it's a past event, it just happened. Okay, we just gotta, we just gotta do this. We gotta put this there, this there, and then will this allow you to make? No way, dude. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. No, no, no. We're actually fine. Look, we have the string. We have the string. We just don't have the inventory space. We can make one more piece of wool. I'm an idiot, dude. This is so hard with no inventory space. It's so stressful. Please don't spawn around me and kill me. Ah, <sighs> okay. Speed run bed building with no inventory space. It's like the most frustrating thing in the whole world. Most frustrating thing. There we go. Okay, we'll just leave the crafting bench there. In case we ever need it. That's an interesting shape. Yeah, we were actually kind of far away from our uh, from our base. And I do not seem to have found any desert temple. So, I'm going to head back. I'm going to explore the jungle that's behind the village. We'll try that. 
Hmm, I wonder where my base is. I can't seem to find it. It just blends in with all the other trees totally. <laughs> Look at that thing, dude. It's a chunk of a tree, let me tell you. Absolutely massive. Very proud of that. Very proud of that. So, again, there's jungle over here, so I figured I'd go explore behind the village a little bit. And, you know, hopefully find a jungle temple. If we don't, that's okay. Again, I, I'm just looking for one because I hope that they have diamonds in them. I could go diamond mining. Maybe we'll try that after this if this doesn't work out. Uh, but we probably need to get a wheat farm more so than diamonds because we don't really have a real source of food. And, oh my god, that thing's burning. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, dude, it's starting to spread. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We gotta avert this crisis here. We're having a big grass fire. I don't. I don't want this to happen. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Okay. 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 It's all good. It's all good. Everything. Everything is okay. There's no more fire, right? No more fire. Okay. We actually did something good for the world. We saved the world today. We didn't deforest it. We didn't do anything like that. We we just saved the world. Okay. So no temple over there. I mean, they're pretty easy to spot, like, once you're actually in the jungle, because, you know, they kind of stand out. But there's, like, a spruce biome right next to the jungle, uh, which is kind of... Dude, I literally, I was, like, holding my breath. I thought I died. I was going to make the jump to the water, okay? I need to stop these things, and I need to get feather falling or protection for Whatever comes first is going to is gonna need... I need that. Like, I genuinely, I really, really need that, because I'm going to end up dead. All right, let me explore. Okay, well, I think that is a desert temple. Not a desert temple. You guys know what I mean. I think that is a jungle temple. It didn't take that long to explore. Um, either that or that's the top of the alchemist's house. I really don't know at this point. So let me head over there. We'll find out together if we find a jungle temple. Hey, we actually did find one. Nice. I wasn't actually expecting to find one. We already found a desert temple. We already found a pillager outpost, which I haven't found in my last two series that I've done. Now, I remember there are some traps in here. It's been a while since I've been in one, um, but I know they're not going to fool me. I know that there is an arrow trap somewhere around here. Somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Oh, okay. It still shoots you. <laughs> There's honestly not that much stuff in here. Is there another one? Oh. oh it, it, what? What? Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't it, isn't it in there? Isn't there a secret chest in there? That's right. That's right. I remember. I almost forgot. Oh, okay. Well, they, uh, thank God I found this secret chest. This has so much good loot. I am so happy that I have explored this jungle temple. I'll at least take the pistons. The pistons are worth more to me than everything else in here. I am disappointed. To the highest of degrees, I am, I am extreme disappointed. Okay, I'll meet you guys back home. Obviously, that was a dud. <laughs> Oh, no, wait, which way is back home? Uh, 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 I don't know. I'm lost in the jungle. Okay, let me see if I climb up here. Maybe I can figure it out. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's the village. Okay, we need to head this way. Oh, I actually wasn't even that far from the village. Nice. Uh, should I try to jump onto the vines? Okay, uh, this, this kind of fall wouldn't kill me. Why did I? Okay. <laughs> We're out of the jungle, and yeah, I think the next thing we need to focus on is getting some sort of source of food, because currently we have no sources of food. And hello, kitty. If I had a fishing rod, which I could craft a fishing rod, I could. Hmm. Should I try to get a kitty? Should I try to get a kitty? Let's get a kitty. I don't. I don't have any name tag though, so you'll be a nameless kitty, but you'll be a kitty nonetheless. I love cats. I got two cats in real life: Loki and Freya. And they are the best cats. Okay. Okay. Um, now, I just got to throw out some stuff. I don't need gunpowder, really. I don't really need 17 iron nuggets. I, I'll keep the banners. Don't need one piece of gray wool. Okay. Let's go fishing over here. And then hopefully the cat doesn't run too far away. Now, I don't know if it's going to identify this as a real place to fish. This is a very uh, tiny little lake here. But hopefully we catch something good. Here we go. Something's coming. There we go. There we go, guys. We got a raw cod. Okay. So I'm actually just going to go and get these fish by hand. I feel like this would be a whole lot quicker. And uh, there's no real, like, disbenefit to just collecting them by hand. So I'll just run over here where there should be an abundance of salmon. Yes, here we go. Thank you, salmon. I'm pretty sure they'll eat salmon as well. This is a lot quicker than fishing. Just FYI, in case you weren't aware. 
It's much easier, for, at least for me, to run around. And it's kind of fun to, you know, swim. Look at all them salmon, dude. Look at all them salmon. Also, they're an amazing source of early game food. Like a really, really good source of early game food. Like better than most other early game sources of food. Um, see, so look, we already have nine for just, you know, doing that for a second. Okay, where did the cat go? It was over there, so hopefully we can actually find it. Oh, man, I, I didn't account for that. <laughs> it did probably run away from me. It knew what I was doing. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, so its last known location was, like, right around here. Yeah, we remember we built the crafting table. Now, it was a black cat, so it'll kind of stand out, but it also may bring us bad luck. Who knows? Oh, there you are. <laughs> there you are. Come here, buddy. Yeah, look, I got some salmon. Yeah, it's got some yummies. No, 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 no. Sorry, I didn't mean to spook you. I didn't mean to spook you. Come on. Come on. Yes, you just want some fish. Come on. Aw, I made a cute little turp. Oh, yeah, we got a kitty. Aw. Yes, you can have all the food in the world. You're just so cute. Okay, come on. Let's go home before it gets dark and you get blown up by a creeper. I would not, I would not like that if you got blown up by a creeper. I would dedicate my entire life to destroying the creepers if they were to do that. I'm very happy I have you, buddy. We're going to name you Sam. I feel like that's a good name for a cat. And I also just thought of it, so... Oh, I thought there was another cat. I was like, okay. I'll take two. I'll take two. And hopefully it'll spawn with me up in the house. And I don't have to, like, corral it up the ladder. Because I don't think that... You can't climb ladders, right? Can you climb ladders? Yeah. Okay, doesn't want to talk. He's, he, he, he's a quiet man. He doesn't like to speak too much. Okay, will you teleport up here with me? Please? No. <laughs> He's like, no! I won't, I won't do it. Maybe if I go up even higher. About up here. <gasps> yes, okay. Now, will you, can you come down here? I don't think he can go down a ladder. Okay, so you're just trapped up there. There you go. Okay. <laughs> they don't take fall damage either, because they're cats, you know. They, they can basically fall forever, and they're fine. Kind of, not not really. Don't don't actually do that. But now we have a kitty down here. Yes, you go, you go, boy. Come over here to this corner, over here. And give him a little food. Oh, when in that good kitty? Yes, in that good kitty. And give him a little food bowl. Where's a food bowl? There's a food bowl. Give him a little food bowl, a little water bowl over here. There you go. All for Sam. <laughs> okay, let me put up my inventory. I'll kind of sort it how I think it should be. Something like this. So give me a little bit. Okay, well, I've come to the realization we only have three iron in total in our entire base. We have three iron. That's not good. Um, I think I'm going to make a pickaxe rather than an axe um, because our axe has more durability, uh, but we do need to go get some wood. I'm going to start doing a tree, not a tree farm. You guys know what I mean. And I'm pretty sure we have a lot of seeds. Let's check that out. Uh, if I can ever remember where my chest is. There we go. And then we have a lot of bones, guys. So a ton of bone meal, so we can kind of kickstart this bad boy. And what else do we need? Hmm. Maybe a bucket? Yeah. All right, let's go start this wheat farm. I actually don't need to get anything except fill these buckets up with water, and then we're pretty much set. That's not a bad deal, man. And, you know, we have our hidden water under here. No one knows about it except us. Where is it? There it is. Just kind of grab a, grab a few buckets of water. Okay. Fill her up. Now, where do we want this wheat farm? Where do we want the wheat? Hmm. Well, I'm guessing I'm going to put the wheat farm down here, but I don't want to put the cart before the horse. We need some wood so that we can build some fences. And I also don't want all these floating trees around. So I'm going to go around and gather probably about a stack of oak logs. And then hopefully we will have enough to make some fence. And then uh, make a nice looking farm. So don't mind me. I'm going to go and gather some logs. Okay, and that's actually perfectly 64 logs. Nice. Okay, so now we can go build our farm. Could have built it before, but I want it to look good. I'm going to try to focus on making things look good. Instead of just doing, you know, and, and the tree, you know, I think it looks good. It's got a little baby, you know, the, the model tree next to it. Um, but yeah, I want to build the wheat farm, I think, down over here. Now, we'll make a nice little path to it. We'll probably make a path over to the tree as well. But I'm going to clear out a lot of this area because I don't want all of the... Uh, all of the stuff on the ground. So I'm going to go around and just do this real quick. Okay. Well, I've pretty much destroyed all the grass around here. Pretty much. Um, 
There's just a few little splotches left. And this area is a little bit uneven, but it's okay. Um, we'll have a nice little watering hole for the cows over here. Um, I'm just going to put my first bucket of water down. Did I, not, I didn't grab two buckets of water. Oh, well, I guess we... Never mind. We have an entire lake of water right there. So we'll make a little L-shaped infinity pool. And then we'll go ahead and put the dirt back. Now, I didn't even bring an iron hoe. I don't have any iron, though. What did I just... You can craft that? What? Does it give you... Okay, you know what? I'm just not going to question it. I didn't know you could craft that. I genuinely had no idea you could craft that. That's interesting. So I'm going to imagine it's going gonna, gonna to go through. I mean, like, these are the one thing where, like, it doesn't matter what you make because they're all the same speed. Uh, but hopefully this will give us enough to actually, like, do this. I, mean, I don't know. Like, how, how long will one of these last? At least one little splotch area. So we have almost two stacks of seeds, which is, I mean, that's more than enough. So let me see if this will work. And there we go. It did work. We had to go under a second one, though, but we got a seedy place. We have completed our first farm area. And I'm just going to build a bunch of these around here. Um, of course, they'll all be kind of connected. I'm not going like, to have them be separate or anything. Um, I don't really know how we'll fence this area off. Um, we don't need we don't need a giant wheat farm. You guys know sometimes I go a little bit too big with my wheat farms, and uh, we'll end up with like an absolutely giant one. And like we don't we don't need that. I cannot express that enough. Like we don't we do, we just <laughs> we don't need it. Okay, we we usually end up with too much wheat anyways. And honestly, this should be more than enough. You see, they don't last very long. But honestly, you can just kind of craft them so quick that like. I'm not, like, worried. I'm just kind of crap. And I hear an Enderman, and I'm pretty sure it's below me, and I know an Enderman could absolutely wreck me. So I'm just not going to, uh, we're not going to find it. Usually I'd be like, hey, let's go explore underground. But we're in hardcore, guys. High stakes environment. We're not doing anything of the sort. So now when I bone meal all this stuff, I should get a lot. So let me bone meal this all, then we'll break it, see how much we end up with. Dude, I was like, you know, doing this, and then I look up, and it's dark. <laughs> so I got to go sleep. Okay, so you can see, you know, we have an okay amount of wheat. I think in between this week's episode, or this episode, and when I start next week's episodes on Friday, I'll probably make this thing a little bit bigger, but that's like the only thing I'm going to do off camera, uh, just because I know it's not like the most fun to watch people place wheat down, and uh, it's just something that we're going to need, you know, as time progresses on, we're going to need more wheat so that we can get some cows. And uh, honestly, with this amount of wheat, we could probably just build a cow pen here real quick. Uh, but one thing I do want to do before I do that is make sure I plant all this wheat back. So give me a minute. Okay, so looks like we actually filled this thing out a little bit. I actually had to add another one. Of course, we'll fill in the middle at some point and make it look nice. Uh, but for right now, I'm just focused on getting as much wheat as we can as quickly as we can. So we have 54. Um, we should probably build an area for the cows to actually reside. What that looks like, I do not know. Um, but we can kind of figure it out as we go. I do know that I want to make some barrels off the bat just so that we have some storage for stuff because I always feel like around here you want to use barrels. So we'll use some barrels and then we'll go ahead. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're not going to look at it. We're not going to look at it. I don't even know, honestly, though, if it can like spawn above ground during the day. I don't think they burn or anything. You're not above ground, are you? Okay, good. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that yet. And then we'll just make some fence as well. Might have made too many sticks. Wow, yeah, we made weight. Oh, no, we still have logs. We still have logs. Okay, good. I was like, man, no, I don't have enough to make enough fence. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Now we're now we're rolling, guys. Yeah, okay. So we should be able to make a pretty good area. I'll just make it in here. It doesn't really need to be anything super fancy. Um, we'll have the cows walk up a ladder like this. Same kind of style I've always done. We need to have some ladders, though, actually, since I said that. Now that I've reminded myself, just need to make one set here. You put the ladders like that, and boom, you're done. And you can just put, like, logs or any solid block under here. It doesn't really matter. Um, I don't have any logs. That's what I need. Okay, hold on. Let me go get some more logs. Well, my axe broke, so I think it's a sign. You know what? No, I'm not going to leave a floating tree. What kind of man am I if I leave a floating tree? And there we go. No more floating tree. I really despise... I just despise floating trees. I think they look so bad. So it's kind of weird, you know, we have some jungle trees all the way out here. It's kind of a, it's a unique looking area. I'll give it that. It's a unique looking area for sure. So we'll go ahead and just put the corner like that. 
and then we'll just bring it back over here. It's not going to be like the biggest cow pen in the world, not going to win any awards for size or capacity, uh, but at least it looks okay. You know, that's, that's what's important to me at least. And then I need to make a shovel, but I only have, I don't even have stone. I don't have any wood either. <laughs> we're going to make a wooden shovel. Even though we're on episode three of Hardcore, we're still using wood, still using wood tools occasionally, you know. Okay, there we go. So I cleared out a nice little area here. And that should give us ample room to come over to here. And then we'll put the logs down like this. There we go. Stack them up. And then we can come over to here. And then, of course, break that. Which we don't have a... We don't have an axe to do. And then we'll have a little bit of a cow pen. So again, not the biggest thing in the world. Not the best thing in the world. But I really... I, I could care less. It's just... It's just... It's a pen for my cows, okay? We're not going to give them the luxury treatment here. And now we just got to get them bad boys over here. So they can not get out, but I can just hop right here. So I do see one cow, two cows. Uh, those guys look to be the closest to me, so let's go gather them. Come here, buddy. I have wheat. Yes, I have wheat. Come grab free wheat. Come on. Come on. Here you go. You know you want it. Come on, buddy. No? Okay. All right, now we got to sneak all the way over there. Oh, we're going to get a third, guys, if we can get it. If we can get... Oh, we got a sheep with us. That's not bad, actually. I will take a sheep. Come here, buddy. Let me get you, too. Okay. All right, this is kind of risky. I'm not going to go for that fourth. We're just going to take this line of animals over there first. All right, guys. Come on. Come on. Yay. Okay, we got them all in here. Let's go ahead and get them breeding. And then we'll go gather... There's another sheep over there. And then I think there's a ton of cows over here. I know when we first spawned in, you know, cows spawn in a big group. I thought there was more than just this, but... Oh, there's another one. Yes, dude. We're going to have a lot of cows off the bat. Usually I only have like two or three. And it takes forever to start breeding them. But third episode and we already got like nine cows. Not bad, dude. Not bad at all. And there we go. Oh, he's doing a little dance before he comes on in. There you go. That's wonderful. Give me a little dance. Okay. Now everyone... There we go. That's everything. That's not a bad haul, guys. Not a bad haul for the beginning of the world at all. So now we don't have to worry about that. Now we have one piece of wheat grown. Kind of weird, but okay. I'll take it. I will take it. And then a couple extra seeds. So there we go. We got a decent start. I did want to kind of light up some of these caves around here because I'm not trying to have like weird stuff spawn and try to kill me during the day. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't have a bunch of torches, but I have enough. And then there is a cave right over here that actually looked quite extensive. I didn't go in it. Is that another cow? Yeah, there is. And here is spider. Oh, he's just right there. Are you friendly or are you evil? Okay, you're friendly. Good. So I'm going to light up this area. And I think, do I have any more? I don't have any more torches. Oh, always coal when you need it. That's something I've always said. You always have coal when you need it. And I swear, dude. Every time you're like, I need some coal, it just appears and you're underground. Like, it just appears. Coal is awesome. Shout out to coal. Shout out to coal, guys. All right. Well, I've acquired the coal. And when I say shout out to coal, it is funny to think about. What if someone's name is coal out there? And they're like, you know what? Yeah, shout out to me. I am pretty cool, I guess. And I might as well grab this iron. We're really low on iron. Like, we basically have none. We're not low. We have no iron. Which is kind of bad. I feel like that's kind of a necessity in the world of Minecraft. So let's grab a little bit of iron here. Okay, so now we have enough torches to put in this little cave area. Because, yeah, I don't want things spawning near me. Oh, no, it's becoming dark, too. Okay, we got to run back. Hold on, let me sleep and then come back here. Look at that. Sam is just sitting on the bed being a good kitty. Yes, you're such a good kitty. I've never had a black cat. Not in Minecraft. Not in real life, either. But never in Minecraft. I feel like they're somewhat rare. And, uh, I think, uh, I think we're pretty lucky to have found him. I know people say they bring bad luck, but I feel bad. You know what's wrong? Well, you know, it's just a black kitty. Why you gotta think they bring bad luck? Okay, this is not the cave I was just in. But it's good that we have all these caves next to us. I didn't know that we had this many that close, and that's really helpful for in the future. Now, yes, it was this one right here with all the coal. All the massive, massive amounts of coal near it. Yeah, we're going to need to eat soon. And I'm going to put that barrel down. I know. I said I crafted a barrel, and then we never put it down. So we'll have to put that or those three barrels down. And we'll probably just fill them with wheat and stuff like that. Stuff adjacent to having a cow farm. 
But I think that's going to mark the end of episode three. I really do appreciate you guys watching this new series. I hope it goes well. You know, I can't see these. I, I record all three of these episodes in a row. Um, I haven't seen how it does, how it's like done at first, but I hope the first episode's doing well. And uh, I hope you guys are at enjoying the series. So I'll just put these bad boys over here and uh, we'll build something to like store them, you know, something a little better than this. We'll put a little, uh, put a little shack thing down or something like that. Maybe do it like this. That looks weird, but okay. <laughs> that looks, that looks kind of weird, but we'll just, we'll, 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 we'll run with it for now and see what it, see what it turns out to be. Okay. And then just kind of, yeah, no. No, I don't like it, but I don't have an axe. Okay, well, do I have enough? Yeah, I do. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you want to see videos from me in the future, please do hit that subscribe button. Again, if you don't want to subscribe, you don't have to, but I haven't been getting very many subscribers lately, and uh, what fault that is, I don't know, or whose fault, and maybe it's no one's fault, but I just haven't been getting very many subscribers recently. So if you want to help me get some more subscribers, and you actually do want to watch my videos in the future, then please do subscribe. The secret code, which is something I do at the end of every video. I'll quit explaining that eventually, but I feel like, you know, towards the beginning of a series, there's always some newer viewers on my channel. Uh, but the secret code is something you can put in the comments to show me that you watch the entirety of the video. And that is going to be 1982 is the secret code for today's episode. So if you want to put that in the comments, feel free. Um, only about 1 or 2% of people who start watching a video actually make it to this point. So it's an exclusive club that you too can become a part of if you choose to. But you don't have to. But again, secret code is 1982. So put that down in the comments. And while you're down there, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on the video, I really would appreciate it. Again, I will upload three episodes every week, or try to, try my best. Um, so every, every, sorry, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I will see you guys on Friday. You see what I mean? Those creepers, they just come out of those caves randomly, and I'm not trying to be a part of that. Eventually, we'll kind of fill in the dirt around here and make this area look a little bit better. Um, but I don't really have a way to get dirt very quickly right now, so. Oh, and look at the Enderman griefing our house, dude. What was your problem, man? Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!